Hey everyone, Sharahemi here and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make the hipster looks for effects. We are going to transform the basic image into this hipster looks effects. There are three effects that uh, we are going to apply. First one, we are going to replace the head with an animal head. Next, we are going to make the stereoscopic 3D or anaglyph effect and the third one we are going to make this high contrast triangle before we continue with the tutorial you need to download the file that i have provided and the link will be in the description below there is four items that we are going to use first the tiger second the vignette and the third one is the photo to apply these effects I also provided my photo just in case you doesn't have any photo to apply on this tutorial. Now open the tiger image on the Photoshop, go to file, open and go to download it for the destination and select the tiger image. Okay now we are going to remove the background as we only need the head, first we need to Unlock the tiger layer by double click on the layer and just hit OK. Now we are going to add a layer max. Go to layer, layer max and select reveal all or you can just click the third button over here to add the layer max. Then select your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is black. Ok here's the tip, as you right click on the document, you can customize your brush, the brush size and the hardness and it is very useful to remove the background, just play around with them. And so we have the tiger head and we are going to place this head on the next image. So go to file open and select the image that you want to use to apply the effects ok unlock this layer first then go back to the tiger document and by selecting your move tool we are going to drag this head to the next step and release your click on any area of the image now resize and place the head in the right position by using transform tool so just go to edit and select free transform or you can press ctrl or command plus t on your keyboard just transform them to the perfect position and size if you want to move the head just click on any area in the square and you can move them around then just hit enter or click on the check mark on the top to apply the transformation as you see there is two layers on this layer panel here and we need to merge them by selecting this two layer by holding ctrl or command key and then just press ctrl or command plus e on your keyboard to match them and you can rename it ok now we need to apply the adjustment the levels and hue saturation adjustment if you doesn't have the adjustment window here you can go to window and select adjustment and there you have it now click on levels adjustment and at the bottom click the first button here to create clipping max to make the layer adjustment on the effects on the only one layer below then we leave the shadow as zero the mid tone to around 0 0.8 and the highlight around 230 next we add the hue saturation adjustment layer create a clipping max also and then we only need to drag down the saturation to over negative 60 then merge all the layers together by select the top layer and by holding your shift key on your keyboard click on the bottom layer and then press ctrl and command plus e next we are going to apply the stereoscopic 3d or anaglyph effects into this image first you're going to duplicate the layer by right click and select duplicate layer or you can drag the layer down to the second last button here now double click the layer and on the advanced blending we disable the red channel and hit ok and rename it to red double click on the next layer 
let the red channel enable but disable the green and blue channels hit ok and rename it to cyan ok now make sure your move tool is selected we are going to move the cyan layer to the right 3 times by hit the right arrow key on the keyboard and move the red layer also for 3 times to the left now merge the two layers together as you can see there are extra line on the side so we just going to remove the line by cropping the image by selecting your crop tool and select the area and click the check mark on the top or press enter to apply the crop ok next things we are going to create a high contrast triangle so right click on your shape tool and select custom shape tool there is the shape options on the top so we need to select the triangle if you doesn't have all these shapes just click on the options icon here and select all hit ok and uh, you have all the shape then select triangle by holding down your shift key drag your mouse to create triangle and make sure it is not too big or not too small ok now we are going to place triangle to the center select your move tool then press ctrl or command plus a to make the selection to all the uh, document area then on the top click on the align horizontal centers and click on the align vertical centers and press ctrl or command plus d to remove the selection now our triangle uh, is already in the center of the image we are going to flip the triangle to downwards by using free transform tool right click and select flip vertical and hit enter make the selection of the triangle shape by holding ctrl or command key and click on the triangle shape icon here now select the second layer we are going to make a copy of the image with a shape of the triangle by going to layer, new layer and layer via copy or you can press ctrl or command plus j ok now you can delete the triangle that we created before as we are not going to use it anymore you can see when you disable the bottom layer we already create the copy of the image with the shape of triangle now we need to apply the adjustment first we're going to add brightness and contrast adjustment create a clipping max and for the brightness we drag all the way up to around 50 and the contrast to around 20 next we add levels adjustment layer for the shadow is 12 leave the mid tone as 1.0 and for the highlight to around axis 7 and then don't forget to create the clipping max merge the first two layers together now we have a high contrast triangle created on our image ok for the final effect we are going to add the vignette into this image so go to file place and select the vignette then just resize it and to fit to your image and hit enter or click on the check mark to apply the transformation this is our final image after applying all the effects so that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any problems just write it down on the comment below thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to thumbs up share comment and subscribe to my channel